Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures for more point and click adventure game action. We are back where we left off. We're having a look around in town to see if we can find any clues or anything that can help us track down the whippets. And we're gonna, yeah, try and pick up this bird seed that we saw Mr. Gabbly throwing in the last episode because I think that might come in handy for one of the pieces of the message we need. Uh, I've also noticed this just now while I was talking. So we're gonna take that. I'm not sure what we need the balloon for. Uh, is there anything in the bin? <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> there's eight in there, and it's the 300 count, so we know there's 292 of those. Go, Sweet. Go. Uh, can we pick this up? Yes, we can. Alright, let's talk to Mrs. Gabbly then. Hello, Chuck. Looks like the fair's in full swing. I'll be popping over later to take part in the big contest. I'll have the major quaking in his boots, I will. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Uh, okay, so... Uh, oh, is Dibbins here? He is. Let's talk Hello. to him. You having a good time at the fair, at least? Yep. It's alright, I guess. Should have been there myself. But that sergeant's got me out on patrol. Not that much doing in town. Still, better get on. I'm on duty. Doing what exactly? Flipping, Nora. Not sure how much more of this I can stand. Mr. Bonilla said that there's even a ride. Yeah, a there is. A ride, and here I am stuck on blinking duty all day. Not blooming fair, it's not. <laughs> I mean, there's not really any crime. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Lost me head there for a moment. Forgot I were on duty. Let's get back to work. Yeah, probably. Um, are these guys still locked up in here? Uh, yeah, they are. Okay. Good. Criminals can stay where they are. Uh, okay then, so... Nothing in particular there. Uh, can we go this way? Oh, we can, and we can go straight home. Right, so let's have a look around in the house then. So there's nothing in the fridge. Uh, there's the pies and things. Can we make any of that now? Apple, strawberry... Oh, I wonder if we can enter a pie. Okay, will this work? Right, okay, so can we enter that into the competition? Maybe we can. Can we use this as well? Oh, no bread. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's head... Well, we'll have a look everywhere, shall we? Completely empty. Uh, Alright. Oh. Okay, we can't go any further into the house. Which is interesting. So in that case... Uh, let's head back to the fair, I guess. We can enter the pie. And hopefully get some more of the message now. So let's... Uh, did we come in through this way? Through down here. Is this how we came in? Yeah, I think it is. Right, okay, so... First stop is this, because we know... Didn't spot those back there. That this is now 292, don't we? I think a little steam work is against the rules, eh? Yeah, you have a go. I am. Uh, 292 is what you want. 2... Nine two. Pull the lever. Seems like it could almost be right, Gromit. Cross your toes, lad. These are the last of the tickets. Congratulations. You are the winner of a grand and fantabulous prize. Hey, we did it. Yes, we did it. Fantastic. We've won, Gromit. 
Congratulations, sir. Very well done. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Mosul. Quite a bit of brain power it did. Yeah. So, what's the grand and fantabulous prize then, Mr. Mosul? Must say, I can't wait to see what I won. Yes, well, um, yeah, just as it's always better to give than receive, um, I say the satisfaction of your triumph, plus our undying gratitude for the charitable donation you made towards our well, noble cause, that's a rubbish our prizes prize. in and of and um, by themselves, wouldn't you say, Mr. Panier? Chuck. No, it well, sounds rubbish to me. They're all very well, but I thought prizes that last a lifetime. Up here, and in here. But, but, but what the sign says... So oh, basically there's no proper prize at all. Oh, um, it's hardly fitting for a gentleman such as yourself. Here, have a blinking bubblegum ball. But, <laughs> but... Oh, all right. And one for the mutt as well. Hey. wonder what we're going to need that for. Ah, another message inside. Save the dogs, help inside. So there's only one to go now. Uh, and it's Take up care. there on the stand, yeah, isn't it? Disgusting. Uh. So, can we enter this pie? That is apple crisp. Another putrid pile of peeled and pruned apples wrapped up in a sickening cinnamon casket of a crust. Who put this evil concoction here? Oh, it was you, I wonder what he wants. Wasn't it? The inventor's hound. Think you could win with this, did you? Well, I won't even taste it. My wretched father used to come home night after night, reeking of the stuff, after an evening of apple crisp indulgence. <laughs> apple crisp indulgence? My mother and indulgence. I both knew he'd been at the pie shop, for he could never get enough of the stuff. Those may very well have been the darkest days of my life, and you reminded me of them. Be gone, and take this unholy brew with you. Hmm. So it's not that one, then. Uh, which one does he want? Don't come back if you haven't a worthy entry. I don't know if I he's got any really clues, maybe? Chewing gum. Let's see. Any clues? What do we have here? Oh, yes. Apple crisp a la mode. An old standard. Stench alone wants to make me wretch. Of course, me old dad, on the odd occasions he was home, would always demand an apple crisp. Reminds me of the manky old devil's musk. Couldn't get far enough away from him, if you must know. May he rot in peace. Right, so... Not apple crisp, then. <laughs> any other... Nice ones? Was that kidney pie? Just like the swill they used to feed us during my national service. By it, those were terrible times. Does he actually like any pies? Another type of apple crisp. Haven't anybody got any culinary creativity around here? I want someone to tickle me fancy, not torture me taste buds. Right, so it sounds like we're going to have to create something a bit unusual, maybe? So let's go across here. We'll go back to the house and see if there's anything good there that we can use, shall we? I didn't actually look at all of the recipe cards, so let's see what else we can make. I mean, potato maybe? Could that be a good one? Let's try it. Alright, well we'll take the potato pie and see if he wants that. I mean, I imagine he'll say nothing good about it, but we'll, we'll give it a go anyway. So let's head back to the fair then. Not really sure what the deal with the balloon is, but we've 
we've got that as well and of course we've got that bird seed we can use on the chicken so we'll have to try that in a second if this doesn't work what is this when is it all oh rhubarb with a hint of dirt and diesel sounds lovely do you want a potato pie by any chance All right, this doesn't look immediately disgusting. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there, there is uh, something here that isn't immediately foul. A faint hint of a taste of something that sparks, uh, dare I say, a not totally unpleasant memory. It's the unmistakable taste of mushy potato, which in and of itself is delicate and unique huh hmm. yeah well it, it's not quite there yet so take it back and perhaps you can improve although as a mere canine pie maker i imagine that was no doubt your best attempt <laughs> an accident perhaps and also oh, no cream no a la mode even uh, clearly not a serious entry after right. all. Right. So we need to get a bit of cream on there and something else in the pie, but it's a start. So it now, seems to be... This is booming, lad. Can we make a, pay a pie flavoured ice cream? I don't know. Anyway, let's... Um, let's do this. I wanted to give him the chicken seed. Oh, can we? Oh, we can make him do a specific one. Oh, I see. Right, so we could technically set ourselves up for the win by doing this. Uh, so let's put this here, like that, uh, we'll go there, and then we'll go here, which means we win! So we cheated it. That means we get the fish. Now I'm not really sure what the fish is for, but we've got it anyway. Now, the question is, can we make a bunch of things here, now that we think about it? By using some of this, can we make like a seed-flavoured ice cream? Hmm, looks distinctly crunchy, lad. Still, could be an interesting flavour. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Huh. Oh, I wonder if we can use that. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. So we've got a bird-flavoured ice cream. Well, sorry, a bird-seed-flavoured ice cream. Can we do a bubblegum one? That could be a confectionery delight. And yeah, let's give it a go. To boot. There's another flavour. Uh, can we make a pie flavoured one? Yeah. Will that work? Pie and ice cream. Two great tastes. Uh, that should work out splendidly. Oh, I wonder if we can do that. And can we do a fish one? See as we've got the fish. Oh wait, we can only keep one ice cream? That's a bit of a shame. Uh, I don't think that would taste very good, would it, lad? I mean, fish flavoured ice cream? Who ever heard of such a thing? Unless you uh, haven't made a new feline friend, have you, for chance? No. Obviously not. Oh, well, uh, yes then. Uh, one 
fish flavored ice cream coming up. Uh, step to it, lad. Not really sure what this is going to achieve, but. Well, it's got a different animation. So that makes me think that it's important for something. Can we... I don't suppose we can give it to him. Put in the cart before the horse, are we? I do prefer the entries to have a side of cream. But usually the entry comes first. But here, <laughs> let me have it. Hmm. Hmm. Most intriguing. Is this a uh, fish? Yep. Mm. You were going to try to feed me fish flavored ice cream. Why, what, what, what a unique idea. Ah. Is there any chance of you pairing this with something equally stirring? You might have a shot at uh, the title. I'll keep this here, and you can add your pie when you've got it. All right, well, we've got the pie now, so was that the extra ingredient? Or do we need something else in the pot? All right, this doesn't look immediately disgusting. It's going to be nice, trust me. Combine them together, it's going to be the best pie you've ever had. Mmm, yeah, yes. This, uh, no, this flavour does not spark an immediate heartache. Quite the contrary, in fact. Uh, the unmistakable flavour of savoury potato brings me back. But my trip down memory lane is soon derailed by a mushy crust and texture. Oh! Yeah, yeah. well, you're on the right track, dog. But take this back and see if you can improve. Memory lane. So, of course. Why didn't I think of this before? This shows us his history. So it was, he had the fish and chip shop, didn't he? So let's see if there's any clues in this. So, fish and chips we've got. So, let's see if there's anything else. Fish and chips, my lifelong favourite. Okay. Fish and chips, is there anything else with it? Maybe not massively. Let's see if there's any clues on this one. Okay, fate would intervene. We know about this. This is when the fire or whatever happened, wasn't it? Or was there not a fire? I can't remember. Okay. Well, there's nothing else in there, so unless we did it wrong and we just have to combine these two? No, it won't let us combine it. Potato pie with the ice cream. No, we need something else in the pie then. Down. But the question is what? Maybe there's a clue in here? seen anything yet. Mm. 
No, still not anything. No. Nothing that stands out. I mean, I don't suppose we can put, like, a bit of bubble gum or something in it. it does, I, I don't think we can. Hmm, there must be an item we're missing or something. Although I'm not really sure what it would be. Don't leave your fate to <gasps> oh, unless we've got to... Unless we've got to deep fry it. Like fish and chips would be. Okay, I think that might be what we needed. We needed to fry it. So now we've got the deep fried pie. Okay, so I think that's where we'll leave it then because we're pretty much out of time. So in the next one we'll give that to Monty Muzzle and see if that's what he wanted. Uh, and hopefully it will be, and then we can look to try and find where the whippets have gone. Uh, but that does it for this one, so as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video. And I'll see you all next time.